You might have heard people say, my home is my pension, or maybe that describes you, because for many people approaching retirement, their house is their biggest asset, but relying on your own home to provide you with a retirement income may not be as simple as it first seems. In this video, I'll go through all the factors that you need to consider. Hello, welcome back. It's absolutely wonderful to have your company again. If you are new here, my name is Diane and I am an IFA qualified financial coach who helps people achieve their money and life goals. Home equity and pension savings. Many of you watching this will have a decent amount of equity in your property. This is because house prices have gone through really big increases over the past 30 years. This is true of the whole of the UK, but especially true if you live in London or the South East. There are a lot of people who haven't saved enough into their retirement fund, and many people don't get a final salary pension anymore. In fact, they've all but disappeared in the private sector. And even in the public sector, the final salary pensions aren't quite what they used to be. So there are a lot of people who are house equity rich, but pension poor. You may think that this is a fine situation to be in. In fact, you might think it's a good situation to be in because it doesn't matter if you haven't saved enough into your pension fund because you can use all the value that has accumulated in your property. But unfortunately, as with many things in life, it's not as simple as it sounds. People are very attached to their family home. The easiest way to release the equity that you have built up in your home is to sell it, move somewhere cheaper, and then bank the difference. And that money that you have gained from selling your house and moving somewhere cheaper is all completely tax-free. And you could argue that this makes perfect sense during retirement because for a lot of people, they need less space than when they were raising their families. The fact is that when you think about the theory of something and it's some way off in the future and you sit here right now and think, it's okay, my home will be my pension. For many people, when faced with a reality, of selling their family home to move somewhere cheaper, they simply cannot go through with it. And this may be true for people you know, or maybe you yourself have thought that you'd be able to sell your family home, but you couldn't go through with the reality of it. We grow a deep human attachment to the homes that we've spent a lot of our lives in. And it's where we've raised our family. It's where we have lots of memories. And then there's the community that you've built up in the place where you live, because it may not be so straightforward to downsize in the area that you are in right now. You may need to move somewhere far away to a cheaper area, and then you lose that community that you've built up. Lots of people who thought they could go through with selling their family home simply cannot go through with it when it comes to it. You might find that you want to stay in your family home, even if it doesn't make financial sense to do so. What makes financial sense often doesn't make psychological sense, and that's okay. So, my home is my pension has a big flaw in reality. Is there another way of getting equity out of your home? So if you don't want to sell up and downsize, then equity release is the other option. Equity release is a form of borrowing money that you pay back at a later date. And this later date is when both you and your partner pass away or move into a care home. And then at this point, your home is sold to pay off the loan plus the interest. And if there is anything left after this, then that's passed on to your beneficiaries. So let's dive into the different types of equity release. What types of equity release are there? Now, there are two main types of equity release, which are drawdown or lump sum. With a lump sum, it's self-explanatory, you get a chunk of money that you can use straight away. Drawdown provides a limit as to the maximum amount that you can borrow that you take as an income as and when you need it over time. Now, the advantage of drawdown is that the interest isn't charged until you take the money, but with a lump sum, you get charged the interest all in one go. And there are some other features that exist in equity release products as well, such as negative equity guarantee. And this is where the amount that you have to pay back never exceeds the value of your house, no matter what happens to house prices in the future or for how long you live. So equity release is pretty complicated. There are lots of choices to make and it's far from simple. It won't be right for everyone. And that's why one of the rules of equity release is that you have to take professional advice before it's available to you. How much equity can you access? 
Now the first restriction on equity release is that it's only available to you if you own your home outright. If you have any mortgage whatsoever left on your home, then equity release simply won't be available to you. So in order to release money from your home, you need to first fully pay off the mortgage. And then how much you can borrow depends on your age. The older you are, the more you can borrow, and you must be over a minimum of age 55 before you can borrow anything at all. As of January 2024, if you are aged 55, you can borrow around 25% of the value of your home. You can borrow 35% if you are age 65. If you are age 75, you can borrow 45% of the value. But these are the values that you can borrow at those ages right now, and these values change all the time. So if equity release is something that you are considering, you will have to keep an eye on how these figures are changing in the future. Higher interest rates mean that you can borrow less, lower interest rates mean that you can borrow more. So the equity release percentages available right now are lower than they would have been when interest rates were historically low for the past 15 years before interest rates started to increase relatively recently. So if you are age 65 with a home that's valued at £300,000, the maximum that you can borrow is £100,000. And again, as a reminder, you would have to pay off any outstanding mortgage before you were able to access that £100,000. If you were thinking that your home is your pension, it may not be providing you with the amount of income that you had thought it would unless you are relatively old with a property of high value with no mortgage on it. So those are the clear downsides to entirely depending on your home for all of your pension but having said that it could be a useful top-up it could be a good supplement to your pension in later years and so there are some situations where it might be worth considering I'll emphasize it again it's unlikely to be providing you with all of your retirement income but equity release could provide you with a supplement to say the state pension or if you have a very small private pension. How can you figure out if equity release might work for you? So don't forget that equity release is borrowing money that you pay interest on and that you can't get access to equity release unless you have professional advice. So the simple fact of the matter that you won't be able to get equity release unless you first pay for this professional advice. And advisors usually won't advise you to borrow money unless you have first used up everything else that you have. Because why borrow money to pay interest on it if you have money already that you can use? That doesn't make any financial sense. But you might want to know at the start of your retirement how much you could release from your home later on because that might give you the peace of mind that if there was a stock market crash or if other unforeseen events happened to you such that your money was not going as far as you hoped it would, it could be something that you could consider later on in your retirement but not at the start and you want to know what you could get in the future. This is where my favourite completely free online planning tool comes into the picture and regular viewers will know what a fan I am of Guide. Guide will soon be incorporating a home equity button into the design and test pages of the journey that you go through with the planning tool. And I know that many of you regular viewers are very familiar with the tool and know exactly what I mean when I say the design and test pages. If you haven't used Guide already, I strongly encourage you to go and have a play with it. You'll be so surprised how user-friendly it is and the wealth of information that you get to give you confidence around whether or not you're on track for your retirement planning. And in the not too distant future and by the time you're watching this video then this button is likely to be available you can test whether equity release will help you at some point in the future despite all of these many drawbacks that i have gone through with equity release this tool and experimenting testing playing around with whether or not equity release could work for you in the future may give you that peace of mind that you need to perhaps avoid being overly frugal in the early years of your retirement because you're scared of running out of money. You can have that confidence knowing that should the worst happen and unforeseen events occur, that you can have this as a backup plan. 
as ever as a reminder if you would like to work with me directly there's a link in the video description where you can book a free 30 minute diagnostic call with me i look forward to hearing from you i hope you have found this video useful and informative thank you so much for watching to the end and i look forward to seeing you in the next video Thank you.